What's up guys, CBK here bringing you another Marvel Spider-Man 2 video. I've said it before and I'll say it again, my hype for this game is really starting to take off, leading me to make even more videos and streams about this game. If you're new to this channel, I pretty much exclusively cover Marvel Spider-Man 2, so if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. But I actually stole this video topic from my friend News to Astonish. I'll leave his video linked in the description below. But today we're going to be talking about alternate Venom looks I'd like to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now, there have been a lot of rumors as of late that there could be sections in this game where Venom is playable. And if that's the case, I think it'd be pretty cool to have a few skins to choose from when controlling Venom. I don't necessarily think that this is gonna happen, but I still thought it'd be fun to discuss. I also wanna say that I can't even wait to see the full design for Insomniac's Venom. I know that they're gonna knock it out of the park. And to be honest, if Insomniac gave us different skins to choose for Venom, I probably wouldn't use any of them until after I play through the game first. But with that being said, let's go ahead and swing on into my list of Venom skins I'd like to see in Spider-Man 2. So first up on my list, we have Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 Venom. Now, this isn't really the best design for Venom. Aside from the eyes and the mouth, the rest of the design is pretty terrible. All of the spots that should be white have more of a silver tone, and he looks way too small for Venom. With that being said, this version of Venom is so nostalgic to me. I grew up with the Raimi movies. I saw the first one when I was 10 in theaters, and I followed it all the way through the trilogy, so I have a strong love for these movies, even for Spider-Man 3. So that's pretty much the reason I'd like to see Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3 Venom skin. I get it, it's not a really great look for Venom, but that look is just so nostalgic for me, and I'd love to see it in the game. Next up on my list, we have another nostalgic Venom look, and it's it's from the 1990s Spider-Man animated series. Like I said before, I'm a 90s kid and this cartoon was my first introduction to Spider-Man. I was watching this show before I ever knew what a comic book was. So this was my first ever introduction to Venom and I need to have this version of Venom if Insomniac were to give us an option to change the look of Venom. It's definitely a take on the classic look, but with more blue and red highlights. As I've said in some other videos, I'm a big fan of highlights on Venom. And if this look were to be an option in the game, then I'd love to see it have a different animation style. I want it to have that look and feel of a 90s cartoon. So next up on my list, we're gonna have the Ultimate Spider-Man Venom. I absolutely love this design. I'm just a big fan of the purple and the design overall. This version of Venom is just perfect to me. He looks huge and menacing, the eyes look perfect, and he just has this brutal look to him. I've always been a big fan of the Ultimate series art design, and Venom is no exception to that. I'd love to see this version of Venom in the game. If Insomniac were to give us skin options for Venom, this would likely be the first alternate skin i choose for Venom once I beat the game and start up New Game Plus. Alright, so next up we have a Venom look that would in no way make any sense from a story perspective, and that's Agent Venom. And you guys, I throw this one out there for two reasons. One, I just recently got into reading Agent Venom, and I've become a really big fan. And two, this is just one of the most badass character designs in my opinion. The problem with this suit is that Flash Thompson is actually Agent Venom and it just wouldn't make any sense from a story perspective, but I just love this look and I wanted to throw it in here for fun. All right, next up we have Tom Hardy's Venom. I'll be honest, I don't really care for the Venom movies at all, but I think that the design for Venom is actually kind of perfect. The only thing that I feel like it's really missing is the white spider logo, but other than that, this design is pretty great. And even though I don't really care for these movies, you can't deny the film's popularity worldwide. Considering these movies are making around a billion dollars, it definitely deserves its spot in this list. All right, you guys, we've saved the best for last. We have the classic Venom look. Yeah, this list wouldn't be complete if we didn't bring it all the way back to the original. You would have to have this Venom look in the game if Insomniac were to give us options. If Insomniac gave us his Venom with the blue highlights and some cell shading effects, I would be in heaven. And if they didn't include this skin in the game, it would just be a huge mistake. It'd be like having a Spider-Man game without the classic Spider-Man suit. You just can't do it. This one is a must-have if Insomniac decides to give us skins for Venom to choose from. But guys, that's going to be it for my list. Now it's time to share your list with me in the comments section down below. Like I said before, I don't think that alternate Venom looks will be in Spider-Man 2, but it's still a fun discussion to have. And you can really never rule anything out when it comes to Insomniac. But that's going to do it for me, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.